Hi guys, Miss Torres here. I hope you are behaving wonderfully for our guest teacher. Today in Digital Media 6, what you guys are going to do is you are going to continue practicing within Keynote using different kinds of animations to create maybe like a little intro video to introduce yourself. Let's say if you were gonna have something on YouTube or just to show in general. This is just a formative. This is just for you to get more practice with using those build-ins, the actions, and the build-outs and also just understanding Keynote a little bit more, although it is a pretty easy program to use because it looks so much like Pages. After this video, I'm going to show you how to export a video from Keynote um, that you will be turning in by the end of class or later, or I would think by probably Friday. Remember, your animation, guys, very easy, very short. I just want to see some build-in, some build-out, some cool text, pictures, etc. Do not stress, okay? It's just more me seeing that you can do it from start to finish. Um, please make sure to watch the video and follow along. Exporting stuff is very easy, but for some reason, your beautiful little sixth grade brains, when I tell you how to do something, it floats away. Sad, okay? If you have any questions, you are more than welcome to write me. I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. And I will then see you on, wow, next Wednesday. So enjoy your long weekend. For any of you that celebrate, um, happy and uh, Hari Raya. And then also we have our Labor Day, which, you know, celebrate your workers. All right, kiddos, I will see you and let's go on to the video. All right, so to go ahead and get started on how you will export your animations from Keynote to turn in, and this is just in general on how you can do it. Very easy, you have everything. If you guys wanted to just triple check what things would look like, I would go and look at hit your animate button and then make sure to build open up that build order um, window. That's super, super important, guys, okay? Build order is always gonna tell you when something is gonna happen, if it's gonna be with or before, etc. Just hit preview so I can see here, a little picture pops out, there's my name, awesome. And to export, what you're going to do is this. You will go to File, Export To, and I'm gonna give you a wild guess, but it's going to be Movie. So File, Export Movie. And then here it's gonna give you a bit of questions. It's gonna ask, do you want self-playing? Yes, slides, all. Go to next slide after five seconds. So if you have more than one slide, it'll give you a bit of a delay. I personally like to go to the next slide after one second. And then your next build, you have to really read what it says here. So if you did not put in any kind of automatic transitions, what's gonna happen is on your build order, what's gonna happen is that it's going to wait two seconds before the next act, like the next thing happens, the next transition. So it's really important to make sure that either A, you put in those automatic transitions within the build order window, which was obviously over here. So what I'm talking about is like this here. When I click on this and do you see how it says start after build one, that would be an automatic transition. If it's on click, that means that the delay might ha be ha happen for a, a certain amount of time. So I'll go back here. So I have self playing, I want all my slides, go to next slide after one second. And then I would personally say go to the next build. It depends. I mean, you can do it for like half a second or something. Um, resolution, whatever is not a big deal. Hit next. And then it's going to have you to save it. You guys, it's really important that you pay attention to where you save your stuff. Oftentimes I see on your screen, it looks like this. It's closed off like that. And then you're not quite paying attention. And for and when we were exporting our pages, y'all exported some stuff in a weird place. Um, so I personally like to put things on either somewhere easy like my desktop or my documents. I'm gonna put in documents, give it a title. You can op also press this button to open up and see where things are. Hit export, it'll turn in your little movie. And then just give it a second, here we go. And it's not gonna pop up. You actually have to find it in your finder. So then I'm gonna go to documents. And I remember I called it intro, outro. And to watch a video or something easy on finder, just hit the space bar. And there it is. And you're gonna see how all those transition goes very easily. Okay, so if you need extra help, ask someone around you or rewatch this video again, okay? Things sometimes need repetition to go over, but I believe in you, or you can always email me, but make that a last resort, okay? Good luck.